Hey guys, David Small here with Team Small Robots, and today we're going to do another event recap. This event recap is going to be on SparkFun's AVC event in Colorado. I have three robots in this event. First, there's my one pound robot, the Highlander, which has been upgraded since RoboGames with pneumatics. Then we have my three pound omnidirectional flamethrower, Doomforge, which is a beetle. And then we have my brand new robot, Nessie, which is a plastic ant. This event is now the third largest robot combat event in the entire country, so it felt really cool to be part of that. It was ran by Casey and Zach from Costa Creations, the team behind Poison Arrow. They gave us this amazing demonstration of Poison Arrow fighting some little one-pound robots and some drones, and of course Poison Arrow won. It was so cool to watch though. Um, I don't have the whole fight, so I'll link to a video so you can check that out. And they even had the robot on display. I got to touch it. So after landing in Denver, I met up with my roommate, David Rush, and we headed to our hotel. I only had one out of my three robots completed, so I needed to get about a week's worth of work done in the next 24 hours, and that was not fun. We then began work on converting our hotel room into a full-on workshop. First we took the table area and turned that into a desk for David Rush to work on. Then I took the TV stand and turned that into some kind of standing desk. I didn't get much sleep, and the robots turned out a little bit lamer than I originally wanted them to be, but I did get them all done, and the next day was the competition. All right, Highlander has informed me that it is now just a lander. There will be no high in this match. So the Highlander's first fight was against a servo flipper named Ikazuchi, um, but as you just heard, unfortunately, the pneumatics aren't working in my robot. There was some kind of air leak, and it wasn't able to hold any pressure, so I'm basically a wedge during this fight. But unfortunately, right off the bat, I get flipped over, stuck on my back, and I'm unable to self-write. If the arm was working properly, however, like during my previous testing, it would have been able to self-write properly, and I would have been able to continue fighting. But unfortunately, that was not the case, and the Highlander loses its first fight of the day. All right. Highlander is going to put a screw in the back of his robot. And yes, immediately after this fight, I added a screw to the back of the robot. So up next was Doomforge, but unfortunately, fire ended up being banned at the last second during this event. I don't really know the details or why exactly it happened, but apparently the officials decided that um, this wasn't going to fly. So unfortunately, Doomforge was reduced to a piece of paper with a picture of fire on it, which immediately got torn apart by Rumham XL, my next opponent. Um, I was not able to do anything because I'm literally just a hockey puck that can move around in any direction. Um, this means no traction, so of course I got shoved around, and then his undercutter tore my wheels to pieces, and I eventually died. Um, would the fire have made a difference? Probably not. So if I do rebuild Doomforge, Doomforge 2, um, it's probably going to have a standard drive system. So up next was my plastic ant Nessie with its very first fight. It was supposed to be a belt-driven lifting arm, but I ended up running out of time, and the belt kept skipping. So I ended up modifying it so that the servo just acted like a lever and would lift the arm up and down slightly. My first fight was against um, Splash Damage, built by Pete from Team Cosmos, and that was a simple wedge. The arm was not able to get under the wedge, so I had to drive around him and get him from the side. Eventually, I ended up getting stuck inside of the wedge of Splash Damage and used that to kind of drag him around the arena into the hammer and towards some hazards. Gravity is the only thing that moves the arm down, so I was unable to release him, and we ended up stuck like this for quite a while until the hammer separated us again. But in the end, um, the wind ends up going to Nessie, and Nessie wins its first ever fight. Then the Highlander is back up again. This time it's against a four-wheel drive wedge named Malobot Alpha. As you can see, the flipper is working. I get a nice flip off of him, and then I pin him against the wall right away. But since I want to test his flipper as much as possible, and it's no fun to lose by being pinned up against the arena wall like that, I decide to let him go. Now, the, the flipper is working, but the leak has only been slightly fixed. It's still leaking, just not as quickly as it was before. And then I'm also having problems with my pump at this point. It's only pumping 70 PSI instead of 100 PSI, so that's also... Um, limiting its power quite a bit, but I still am able to flip stuff and toss around Malabot Alpha until I eventually win by a judge's decision. Nessie's next fight was against a four-wheel drive wedge robot named TARS-1. His wedge was a little higher than my claw, 
so I was able to get under him right away and then flip him over. He wasn't able to drive inverted, so I tried to flip him back over, but due to the limited mobility of my claw, I wasn't able to do that, so I ended up shoving him around and lifting him a bit until he eventually lost by knockout. And the win goes to Nessie. Now the Highlander gets to fight the famous Sergeant Cuddles. As a fan of Robert's YouTube series, I've been wanting to fight him for a long time now, and I've finally been given the chance to do so. Unfortunately, both of our robots weren't acting on their full potential. I was having my flipper problems, and Robert was having drive issues with Cuddles. Because of those drive issues, I was able to outmaneuver him and shove him all around the arena and get flips in wherever possible. I managed to pin him up against the wall, but after turning off his weapon, he was able to escape. Then I uh, pushed him around some more, almost getting him out of the arena. If my flipper was working at full power, where I'm able to flip stuff and have it do several flips in the air, um, that might have got him out of the arena, but no way to know for sure. Then his drum takes off one of my wheels, but I have three more, so it's fine. Then I shove him around a bit, get some flips wherever I can, and even get in a hammer shot. Then it ends up going to the judges, where Highlander wins. I look forward to our rematch, Robert. Nessie's next fight is against a two-wheel drive wedge named Skippy. I tried sanding down the claw on Nessie after my fight with splash damage so I could get under wedges easier, but I wasn't able to do so against Skippy. He was just too low to the ground. He spent most of the fight pushing me around because I wasn't able to get under him. I did try to go around to the sides, but he was a really good driver and I wasn't able to do so. I did manage to flip him over once, but the majority of the fight was still in his favor, so... Nessie loses by judge's decision. Now Nessie is against Hungry Hungry Hippo right after that fight. Hungry Hungry Hippo is a clampy dustpan grabber robot. Um, again, I can't get under his wedge, so I tried using Nessie's mouth to hold open the mouth of Hungry Hungry Hippo, but he was still able to control me with the dustpan part. The majority of the fight was just him shoving me around and controlling the entire match, but then right at the very, very last second, Yes, and it's all. Oh! So if this fight were to last another 10 seconds, I would have won, but too little too late. So now Nessie is out of the tournament, but he does finish with third place, which I'm very happy with for this being the very first event I've taken it to. Now the Highlander's next fight is against the Angry Accountant, made by the same builder of Splash Damage. I was very afraid to fight this robot because of my exposed wheels, but then BAM, 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 BAM! I am down three wheels and upside down. Then after being unable to self-write because of my flipper problems, I lose and the angry accountant wins by a knockout. I wanted to make a nomadic flipper like Bronco, and I succeeded, maybe a little too well. Ever since watching No Anchovies get all of its wheels ripped off at Robo Games, I was settled on a protected wheel design for the Highlander. But unfortunately, with uh, the weight issues, I wasn't able to do this. But the next version, for sure, is going to have protected wheels. Now, even though Highlander is out of the tournament, it can still compete in the Rumble. Unfortunately, the bolt that attaches to my joint to hold onto the arm was completely sheared by Angry Accountant. Um, I could have replaced the cylinder and made a new one, but I didn't really want to do this. So I thought something that could be a little more fun was to attach my GoPro to the robot and then enter the Rumble that way. I got a lot of cool footage of that rumble, so if you want to check out the full clip, I'll have a link in the description where you can watch the whole fight. So that about wraps it up for AVC 2017 from Team Small Robots. The next event I'll be competing at will probably be Motorama in 2017, or I might go to Dark in Texas later this year, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out more videos, feel free to go through my channel, and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.